Got him. Oh, that's a big dog. There they are. Few, few misses now, three or four. It's a numbers game, I've always said that. Top water Spanish is a numbers game. You gotta miss a few before you win one. It's still early, it's not by period yet. You can tell by the way they're hitting the lure, they're not really hungry. It's weird for them to be hitting the lure like that around the new moon, usually they're just come up and inhale it straight away, or not inhale it, but hit it with the intention of, of eating it straight away. These ones are sort of hitting it with the intention of injuring it to come back and, and then eat it. Oh, I reckon that's where they are. A bit of bait over there on the surface. Got to raise one here. Got to raise one here. They're right in the zone. Bloody things, man. With the big OG, the 150 gram. I get asked a lot about technique, how to get it swimming properly. And it is a bit different, such a big lure. The 120s are a piece of cake. You can give them to a complete novice and they'll be able to get it swimming properly. But the 150s, 
take a little bit more technique and I mean it's nothing there's nothing to it all I'm doing is just winding in a little bit more tension before I start each sweep so you get the nose of the lure diving before you start the sweep so instead of just winding in the slack and sweep wind sweep wind you're winding in the slack and taking a little bit of tension just a little bit just to get the nose dipping before you start the sweep and now particularly these couple of days after the new moon where you get a bite period in the afternoon the bite period kicks them off gets them feeding and then they continue to feed they don't just feed for that bite period they'll continue to feed all the way then until sunset they'll sort of gorge before sunset in preparation for the long dark night ahead so these couple of days after new best days of the month to get them I know they're here. Definitely here. <laughs> Got him. Oh, that's a big dog. Stop kicking, mate. Oh, they're big dogs. Leaders cactus. <sighs> That's what we come out here for. <sighs> Ugh. 
Look at old mate's tail here. Good size fish. Is that a shark or is that another Spanish? I reckon that looks like the end of a Spanish mouth. Is that what they do to each other? Oh! No 30 kegger, but I can't complain with that one. To be honest, I wouldn't need a 30 kegger, but that one's one that I would be willing to take the chance on, probably the upper limit of what I'd eat. But what an afternoon. Southeast Queensland winter Spanish. They're big ones. You've got until September to get one. You'll struggle getting them on the trawl, although some people get them on the trawl, they trawl live baits really slowly. These are guys who've got it dialed in and they know exactly where the Spanish are to begin with. But if you're just starting out, you're just gonna you're gonna struggle to find them. Like that anyway. And then you can troll big dead baits, whole tailor, whole school mackerel. Or you can throw the big top water. Definitely the most exciting way to catch them, no doubt about that. Anyway, see you in the next one.